How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing a very special product from Apple. As you guys may or may not know, I am quite fond of Apple products. What I'm going to be unboxing today is the new 13 inch MacBook Pro with Apple M2 chip. There are newer ones. You've got the M2 Pro and you've got the M2 Ultra. This is the 2022 model, but obviously this is what I needed in terms of what I'm going to be using it for on a, on a daily use. Now, just to be a bit of background, I've been a Windows user all my life. So I've never ever actually upgraded or even transitioned to a Apple Mac. So this is a very, very special moment for myself. I'm very very excited to move from the traditional Windows laptop to a, a MacBook. Let's get this MacBook unboxed and let's see what we get inside. Always a special moment when you're unboxing any Apple product. I always feel like when I'm unboxing, as I'm actually getting into the product itself, I feel like what if I don't have it? What if there's like a block of bricks inside. I always have this sort of nightmare. Let's hope this is not the case. And no, it's not. It's actually a MacBook inside and not a block of bricks. Okay, so. Right, okay. Very thin. Let's just put this to one side for the time being. Inside, you get the standard charger, USB-C to USB-C. You also get the little guidebook or the manual book. Inside you get the, the guidebook itself. Some more guidance and the infamous Apple logo stickers, which I have color coordinated with the actual MacBook itself. So you also get the plug with it, the UK plug. And then you also get the power brick. I believe this isn't a fast charging power brick. I believe it's 67 watts, I believe. Yeah, so 67 watts USB-C power adapter. And that's it. Okay, so let's take the wrapping apart. And as you'd expect, looks like any old MacBook. Same design. Do like the color though. It's a silver. For a small laptop though, it is quite heavy. I mean, this MacBook Pro is just built beautifully. Even though it's a couple of years old, the same design, hasn't really changed much. It, it still looks fabulous. It feels great to hold. It's nice and slim. No wonder this is like the second best selling MacBook. The only sort of discrepancy is probably you've only got two Thunderbolt ports. Whereas I would have liked it if there was like an SD card slot as well. Even more Thunderbolt slots. Thunderbolt 6 would, would have been better. Obviously this is Thunderbolt 4. But other than that, I really like it. So in terms of the specs. So this is the... 8 gig unified memory, 512 gigabyte SSD, 13 inch MacBook Pro with Apple M2 chip. Now, like I said, this is the 2022 model, 13 inch. Um, I wouldn't want to go any higher than that because obviously you can upgrade them to your to your desired specs. And obviously, if you were to go any any higher than that, then you'd rather go with the with the newer models like the M2. Pro chip or the M2 Ultra chips. I'm gonna load it up, I'm gonna get it all set up. I'm also gonna be showing you how easy it is to transition or to move files from a Windows laptop to a MacBook Pro and see if it's actually easy or if it takes a while. And also just to give you my first impressions. So it's booted and it gives you the hello. Hello to you too. All right, so let's get this set up. Using this compared to a Windows laptop is so, so much different even the the actual trackpad itself it feels different when you press it there's no physical buttons which i'm really not used to 
Okay, it's asking me about data and privacy. Yep, continue. So if you have information on another Mac or Windows PC, you can transfer it to this Mac. That's what I want to do. So from a Windows PC is what I want to do. So let's see what this is. Okay, so transfer information to this Mac. Select a Windows PC to transfer its information to this Mac. Looking for other sources. Don't know how this is gonna work because my PC, my laptop, is quite old. So I don't know if my laptop is even gonna have the capabilities of doing this. Uh, but let's give it a go. Here's my old rundown HP laptop. Uh, funny story. The reason why I actually got this laptop is because it kind of does remind me of a MacBook, um, which is why I actually got this laptop. But it's not a Mac. Doesn't run Mac OS. And, Got nothing to do with Apple or Mac at all. But hey yo, this laptop has served me many, many, many years. And it's time for a change, I guess. This laptop has gone so slow now. It makes weird noises at startup, almost farting noises when it starts up. It just can't do the things that I want it to do. So I'm gonna be using the Windows Migration Assistant. So it's an application that I'm currently downloading and hopefully this should be the software that can transfer my data, pictures, files, calendar, the whole lot onto my new Mac. So hopefully this works. Okay, so I keep getting this error message where it says this Mac is attempted to reconnect to your Windows PC. It's happened quite a few times now and kind of lost my patience with it i don't think it's the mac i think it's actually my windows um pc or windows laptop that's causing the issue it's probably too old to even recognize this um so i'm just gonna abandon it and have to transfer things myself manually so i'm just going through some terms and conditions i then need to set up icloud and then set up siri with my voice it then tells me to set up touch ID using my finger. So I had to repeatedly tap the button to recognize my finger. Um, I do like dark mode, so I'm going to keep it on dark mode. And there we go, we are in. As you can see, the software is using Mac OS Ventura 13.4.1. Okay, so first impressions, the screen looks so much clearer, so much crisper. The colors are more vibrant. And it just loads so much quicker. I think I need to get used to the tabs at the top. Whereas the Windows used to have the tabs here for closing, minimizing. The, the touch bar at the top is so intuitive. It's really smooth. It works perfectly. And you've got quite a few options here. I guess it kind of also saves space on your keyboard as well. Because not all of these things are needed. Just watch how responsive the actual... Touch IDs. Touch ID was just a breeze just to set up. Obviously so it gives you an option to either touch ID or to enter a password. It does give you the option yeah, to unlock touch ID. And just voila, just like that. It starts up without even the need to having to put your password in. The actual OS itself, it's very similar for people that have got iPhones. It's literally the same sort of settings that you have. Also, you've probably got a few more settings because obviously this is the Mac. This is the reason as to why that I wanted to stay within the Apple ecosystem because it just all seemingly works. Another thing that I've just noticed is that if I'm on Safari on my actual phone, you get a little icon at the bottom to show exactly what you were on. And you can carry on on your Mac. And it just, like, how? How the heck is that even possible? That's a really good thing to have. I think what Apple probably should consider in the future is probably making a smaller power brick because this thing is gigantic. And obviously making the actual wire itself longer because uh, this is just this is not long at all. And I feel like it's quite it's it's quite flimsy. I notice with with the wires with Apple, they end up snapping or even tearing apart from the ends here okay so in terms of the macbook itself so it's got an eight core processor the graphics is an integrated 
10 core GPU and it's got 16 gig of unified RAM. The screen size is 13.3 inches and the retina display is 2500 and 16 by 1600 retina display. It weighs about three pounds, which is about 1.4 kilograms. You've got storage from 256 all the way to one terabyte. So it's got two Thunderbolt 3 USB ports and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The camera on the screen is a 720p FaceTime HD webcam. I mean, the lack of ports on the MacBook, it's not a huge issue because I will be using the Smart Tech extension, which has got a obviously a USB-C. It's got a SD slot and two USB ports as well, plus also a HDMI slot and also a Ethernet slot as well. So it's got more than enough for what I need. But yeah, guys, that is it. Pretty much everything from me. Hope you guys enjoyed this little first impression of the MacBook Pro. I know I'm a late adopter, but better late than never. And like I said, this is my first time using the MacBook or even purchased a MacBook. So looking forward to using it as my daily driver. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.